weighs 47 pounds. Great contours. Well, I gotta tell you, it's my first use with the 3D structure scan. And I gotta tell you, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Very easy to understand. It just makes sense. Look at that school of bait just pop up right there, that shad. Change to more of a traditional straight up and down look really quick. You still see those contours by the definition of the, of the shadowing. But if you really want to see them and live them, look at that. Look at all those contours. It takes so much guesswork out of it. You see the actual fan of your transducer beam. It's not really a cone, it's more of a fan. That rock ledge right there. I want to get a better look, I can swing around. Look at that, I can see the other side of it. That is incredible. Look at that. Now you can see the other side of that ledge. Bait right there. Look at that. Look at all that bait. That's incredible. I'm gonna have to get more gas. Just keep riding around looking at it. Out. Look at that bait. I can put a mark right on that school of bait if I want. I hit this little cursor icon here. Touch it right on there. Right on there. Put a waypoint. Go right back to that school. Obviously the school will move, but it gives you that kind of control. Look at these rocks over here. Look at those. I think I can see the other side of them. Good night, look at that. That's incredible. The beam is going past it, yet I'm getting on both sides. How did it? I'm not gonna pretend to understand the science of this, but it just works, man. Look at that. drop off right there in the bait. Love it. Look at that hump right there. Real easy to see that. Look at that hump. Bait right on either side of it. Bam. Look at it, paint that picture. Look at the bait. Shad just pop right up in red. Fish marks have always been red. Look at, maybe... Look at those shad just pop up in red. I can change my view with my finger just like this. It's very easy. See, I got a ledge over here. Scattered rocks to the right. Just marking bait the whole way. Lots of bait. Change my angle. See straight overhead, you really can't see the contours. You can see the shading of it. But when you get in here and really get the 3D aspect of it, look at those boulders. Look at that detail. Look at that contour, that's unreal. It's unheard of. Look at the bait. Look at that. You know, 
you exactly how far each side of the boat the fan is looking for the transducer, 147 left, 145 right. Look at that. Did you just look at that? Again, straight up and down. Pretty vanilla. Getting right into that 3D aspect of it, and that's when you see everything. The steep contours, the rocks, the boulders, the stuff sticking up. 3D. One thing they're going to have to change for sure is take this icon out of there and put a C Pro Center console in there. I may be partial though, I may be a little biased towards C Pro, but it would make my day. All right. Get a little more look at these contours of the 3D structure scan. Check that out. We're right in a creek channel right now. You can see it. Here's the creek bed. Here's the right wall. Here's the left wall. Just move it around to see what I want to see better. Great for trolling rigs. I want to keep my rig close to the bottom. I guarantee I'll be able to track that rig perfectly. Controlling umbrella rigs or any other kind of striper bait. Look at these humps in here. We're around the creek channel right now. We're right in the center of it. All right, I'm going around a lock, rock ledge right here. This really gives you an idea how your transducer works. I'm close to the bank on this side, so it can only reach so far to the left where it's reaching much further off to the right side. With regular transducers looking left and right, there will just be a shadow. Go ahead and change my view. Now I'm getting into those contours. See the bait popping right up. All these rocks, darker blues, deeper water. Love that bait popping up. Look at that hump right there in the middle. Look at that. There's no way to miss that. Boom, right there. If you really want to see what's under your boat, and I mean really see what's under your boat for real, the structure scan 3D is the is the ticket. It is the ticket. Look at that wall right there. gives you ultimate control over the unit for what you want to see. Infinite adjustment. Look at those contours. The rock ledge on my right now going off deep to the left side. Anytime I want to go back to the standard fixed view, just hit that icon. Really simple to use, I love it. For the very first version of this, I can't wait for when it's released, what kind of improvements it could possibly make. bait right there. Look at these wicked contours. Those are really strong contours right there. Look at that drop off right there. Look at that thing go right down. Look at that. Look at those contours. That is all kinds of broken up rock and road and all kinds of stuff down there. bait right there. More big rocks over here. Look at those rocks. Look at those rocks. Look at those contours. You got bait right in there. There's something else. It's so easy to see. I see it painting that 
rock ledge beautifully. I can see it. Change my view. Look at that. I can look at it any way I want. I can straighten the boat back out if I want. Right now I'm making a turn so I can see it a little better. Look at those rocks. <laughs> look at all that. That's incredible. Look at that. Look at that contour. Look at the edge with the bait on this side. I'm gonna have fun with this. Look at that. Look at that drop off right in there. See that hole? Look at that hole with the bait sitting right in there. Look at that. Look at those rocks. That is something else, man. Wow, look at this. School of bait, little peninsula uh, boulders right there. See that? This is where I turned the boat. And it all just makes sense when you touch the screen and moves exactly where you feel it should move. School of bait in red where you can see it nice and clear. No guesswork. Look at these contours. Just follow that along. I can look all the way around them. Look at that view. Now I'm looking, basically I'm looking at the right side of the transducer only. Now I have it set on view lock right now, which means wherever I leave it, the view will stay. You can set it so it'll take the lock off and it will turn. When you turn, the boat will turn. But I like it with the lock on. This way I can change my view whenever I want and it'll stay right where I put it. I swing this way. Now I'm really looking at the right side of the transducer only. If I'm pounding a bank as a bass fisherman or throwing peacock cast ending up on the bank, that's what I would probably set it for to lift up all under here swing it back now I'm looking on the deep edge of the transducer right now I'm going against the rock wall on my right side I can change the view to basically see everything the right side of the transducer sees everything up on the bank if I'm a striper fisherman and I'm pulling baits up on these rocky points up in here this would be a great way to really keep an eye on what everything is happening over there if I'm pitching off into the deep end I can swing it around here and see everything on the deep edge basically I'm looking at the left side of my transducer now now I'm looking at the right. Anytime I want to go back to normal, I just hit that icon button. It will straighten you right back out. Or I can just move my hand. Move it right back. There's an overhead view. Go back up. Okay, for, uh, just bolting on the boat and going with really no guidance. It doesn't take uh, very much effort to figure out how this thing works. It seems like it worked exactly how you think it should. I love that the bait and the fish marks are in red, painting suspended is in red, so it doesn't blend in with the bottom.